this is Beverly, the Gothic Gourmet, at the end of the first annual Carnival of Darkness Film Festival with the producer of the show. Oh, I just oh, turned yeah. her no, it's okay. <laughs> Leah. Hi. Your last name, say it for me. I can't do it. So <laughs> bad. Like ravioli. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like ravioli. <laughs> I hope I can remember that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yes. You're the bomb. This was so fantastic. I am just like so happy I came. This was the best. Wow. I really, no, really, like just the, the quality of people. Thank you. Like just the number of people. The movies were great. And I especially the movies were the movies amazing. Were great. Like, like we but, really had some great. But you guys submissions. did. You guys did more than just put them up there. You guys put them in a great order. Yeah. Because they really ma it made sense. It was a nice mix. I mean, it all really worked. Yeah, it got a little heavy and then it got a little and it got and then it came back yeah, and, right? and then you guys killed me. <laughs> Body of work. Oh, the one movie that made me go, <gasps> Yay, me I, too. Like, like, the only movie really that made me do that. I'm so glad. Which Seriously. part? The part where it looked like she was with the, 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 the ghost in the bedroom? I don't no, 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 no. Even before that. Oh, it's like, yeah. Because I don't usually get scared. Well, and it's funny because I heard, because I, I got to see it for the first time oh, yesterday. Oh, because they just wrapped, they just wrapped we just post finished, production. Like, two like, days ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, I knew. So that. I got to, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I knew it was close. Yeah, this whole thing came about within like four months. Oh, this whole God, thing was birthed. So, so I was waiting because when I saw it last night, I saw that there was a few moments that might be shockers, but I knew what was coming. Oh, so yeah. I didn't, you know, like but I said to Alex, I think people are going to jump here. I'm not because I've seen it, but I think people are going to jump. And so there was a few moments in there um, with the, the bedroom scene. I heard one guy go, ah, and I, I knew it, that meant that we got it, it you know? It. And when he said that, the entire audience right? went with it because it was true. Like, we all thought it, but he said it, and it worked. It really worked. I mean, Which is a compliment because in the horror genre, there are so many times where you, like, I think you kind of laugh because, like, oh, that oh, was yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah. You got me. Uh, <laughs> impressed me the absolute most was the sound. The yeah. sound quality. Oh, God. Wow. For an indie movie, people, the sound was insanely excellent. Okay, well, I have to tell you why. Oh, gosh. Okay. We, um, we lucked out. Um, I'm, I'm just blessed. I've been, I've oh, been, my gosh. I've here been, it I've been in L.A. for 10 years now, yeah. and so I know a lot of people, and I've done oh. a lot of things. Um, so I put it out on my Facebook. Did you really? That we were looking for sound. I had a friend of a friend say, um, contact my friend Mark. We had no idea who Mark was. We contact Mark. Mark says, yeah, I'll help out with this. He did sound for Independence Day. Mark, Are you Mark serious? Lanza agreed to do sound on our little oh, movie. That was Mark Lanza. Yeah, oh, Mark. yeah. <laughs> like, just thank you, Mark Lanza. Yes. Um, I have to say, the reason why I mentioned the sound, not that other movies didn't have great sound, but you can really tell a professional movie by the sound quality because there's always that thing you know you can have everything can look perfect but you always will have a sound yeah issue, and this sound was it, perfect we, throughout all we the way through we paid pennies to what oh, we used, no. used to get the acting so. was fantastic too you. no I mean like I was did you, and it was did you like was my long. dead with my eyes no. wide open scene no I mean that and no. I mentioned that because that, I, that was something that I actually got input because Alex is like yeah. okay you're gonna die now and um but I'm like, I'm like, can I keep my eyes open? And he's like, are you? I'm like, yeah, I can. But I? it was scary. You're like, like you look like dead. dead. You really did look dead. I've been and, practicing and, all my life to be dead. You know, I mean, like seriously, this woman can act. Aww, no, you can act. You. And it, because like, it, it's there are all the pieces that have to come together. And in this movie, they all did. Yeah. And I was like, and the even the even the very sad ending. I can't give away. No, I know. Isn't that Always creepy? Like, oh. I hadn't and, seen that till last night. Oh, really? Like, so, oh, yeah. I didn't know how I was like that not, transpired. I was not expecting that. I mean, like, I'm glad it happened that way because that's what keeps it independent, you guys. Okay, so you have to see this movie when you when you have an ending that is independent, you know it. And this is you, you're not you don't expect this. You're just like oh, like yeah. you know it can happen. You just go, oh. yeah, you didn't and, want it to happen. And but it's a war movie and it brings it back, <laughs> but it brings it back to the war, like yeah. even in the end. So it had the payoff. Yeah. So and then the the panel. You're such a good speaker. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And like really kind of keeping it moving and stuff like did this. Did you see I did that with no note cards? Yes, I did. I noticed that. And I was like, oh, it's like, oh, you know what? I hope.
she had a lot of pre-thought-out questions because I know how I would be feeling. Like, like at, you know, it's the end of a long, long I'll, day. I mean, I'll tell you, yes, it's the end of a very long, long week. Even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I mean, I, I, I have been generating things in my head, and I, I've been following all of the panel guests. Right. Um, you know, Kat's a mentor of mine. You're about that. I've been following Julia and Jason on Twitter, just right. trying to follow, you know, just keeping no, up with what they're doing. That, yeah. Um, but I really meant to sit down today and take notes. I literally went to Rite Aid and I got these index cards of my favorite kind that are like in a little book. And just things went as true today. Like hair, but, makeup, know, wardrobe. I'm a girl too, so yeah. I need to get ready. So I never had a chance to write yeah. anything down. No, you know what? And you were fantastic. You were fantastic. Yeah. Look, I, I used to um, I used to work for the production company that did the Monterey Bay Blues Festival. And the thing that we know... The thing that we know. Bye. We're <laughs> done. Bye. 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 Bye.